How did you feel when you first began the AAP journey? Hesitant, nervous, scared. Yeah. One thing I noticed with students was their social skills in sharing and um, taking turns. For some of my students in particular, they've been persistent in working on their resilience. I have a particular student as well um, who's socially interacting with, she it was a challenge for her at the beginning, um, but investigations have really helped her with her oral skills. And she's made major improvements in being able to articulate and tell you exactly what she's feeling or what she needs and she gets really excited at the end of investigations because all she wants to do is share her learning for the day. I think for us being able to go into the transition classrooms and actually observe what the students are doing in there that's sort of opened our eyes a lot more. Mm. And for us, yeah, we've grown as teachers. Yeah. We are learning as, along with them. And as first year teachers yeah. it's a huge step. Transitioning into investigations was a big mm. shift first. We're trying to do one step at a time at the moment. We've taken a massive step first. We come into the future we'll, um, and we've got investigations down mm. pat. Um, I think we'll be able to focus more on the other aspects of AAP. Behaviour wise with um, the implementation of investigations, um, we found that um, students are a lot more engaged in their learning so there, um, there are less behaviours that we have to deal yeah. with in the classroom. Um, through normal structured learning a lot of students disengage and are disruptive, however in investigations I don't think that has happened once. Out, but I also find that mm. their engagement towards their formal learning is still yeah. there, they're not disengaging yeah. as much as they used to and they know that there's different ways of learning. So even though yeah. it's formal in a sense, mm. they still get to use different hands-on approaches. Mm. Um, yeah, things that they're learning in investigations, they're bringing back yeah, to, to their, their formal learning, yeah. even socially wise, like the resilience. Yeah, if they and the teamwork. Up, teamwork, mm. yeah. I think we'll be able to focus more on the other aspects of AAP. I think for Amy and I, it was an opportunity to validate what we were doing and, yeah, an opportunity to celebrate what we're doing and to reflect on how we can move forward in the future with our teaching practices. We've been really excited at Lara Pena to be involved in the Age Appropriate Pedagogy Trial. We've had great success, our little people are more engaged, we've got morning investigations happening, so a big change in the space. Our transition and year one people have been working closely together. We've had collaboration across schools uh, with participation in the communities of practice and it's been fantastic to uh, be guided by Megan Lake who's come down to support us across the terms. So um, we're very excited to extend the great uh, research into our other parts of our school in 2018. In investigations, I like going, doing the hot wheel cars. I'm learning about how does it go and how to make it move and also how does it turn and how does it drop. We like making with the blocks because we can make like cool homes for the, for the cars and we really like doing it because then, then we might learn how to make and if we want to be a builder we might re be really good at making stuff for them and we can kind of make stuff whatever we want and, and no one has to tell us so, and sometimes, sometimes I ask Jet what she's making and if I like it I ask him if he can teach me how to make it. And there are like two classrooms together so I don't have to do like, so when I do all of the stuff in that room, I, I still have this room to investigate. It makes me happy because I feel like if, um, if, um, if helping me, um, because, um, Heaps of people keep helping me. And in this and I like making with the blocks because it might cause cause then cause cause it can make your fingers strong, like finger muscles. 
I like about it since there's lots of values to learn about. And there's fascinating stuff you can do. Um, I've noticed a change in Caleb's attitude towards school and um, his enthusiasm in being at school. Before he was um, actually saying on certain days that he didn't want to go to school, which was really unusual for him and obviously a concern as a parent. I think that it's um, great to have something that recognises the children's age and stage where they're at with their learning and um, you know, that I've noticed children respond really positively to it. Well, from Caleb's perspective, that he's actually enjoying being at school. And I think getting a lot more out of it. I just think it's really great that the staff here are so proactive and willing to change. I mean, it's term four. You could have just decided to continue as is. There's only one more term left of school. And I really appreciate and value the fact that you guys are always trying to improve it for the kids and do what's best for them. And that makes me very happy. <laughs> I've noticed since the beginning of term four, she's coming home and she's telling me a lot more. Like we did, um, I needed to do something for the day with money. And she's like, oh, I learned about money, mum. Like, let me tell you. I, And so um, instead of it just being sort of, oh yeah, I learned, just did reading today, or I just did writing today, or we just did maths. She's actually telling me more about what she learned. You see the kids are like really excited to come in. Even before the bell's going, they're all coming in and they're all setting up and they want to get involved. It's really nice to see. And like I've got a little boy coming into transition next year and I'm really excited. Like we came to the open and came into the transition and he was just so blown away. He was like, Mum! It was so much fun. He thought it was going to be fun. School should be fun. Learning should be fun.